Alright, hi. Welcome back to- I almost said welcome back to Hollow Knight. That's weird muscle memory. Uh, welcome back to the Forge Out Fiesta. I'm Tofei. Uh, good start. We're, we're at more, by the way. Alright, so this is just a normal, pretty normal town. Uh, armor is gonna be- uh, yeah, this stuff's pretty expensive. Diamond stuff, yes. I'm going to- mm, but that gets rid of my, uh, thing. Okay, well. Luminous robe is probably a must. Okay, so there's a lot of equipment here. <clears throat> there's also a pub. You know what that means. Get out of my way. I must loot. I am an RPG hero. I must play the piano. A piano virtuoso! Almost. Level up. So yeah, one more piano and we've played them all forever. Also, I can't go over here yet, but I can't go over there. Yay, I guess. So, this magic shop is notable for a pretty good reason. It is the first point in the game where you can get the Aga spells and so on and so forth. Guess what raid mages can't use? But yeah, this place casually, or if you get a relevant mage, is a very, very, very good shop. Because you get a lot of really good spells at this point that, uh... Yeah, this is where magic kind of becomes a huge deal. And that gold hairpin especially. And, uh, yeah, okay, so there's an air knife. I am going to buy this for sure. Although I like the killer bow, I'm still gonna get that for damage. I am going to get one of these for now. And, um, gonna get one tiger mask... Uh, what is Len uh, have equipped right now? Gaia gear. Okay, so yeah, luminous robe as well. I'm gonna be a little picky with what I get right this second. Um, one tiger mask. And okay, you're the only one that can do that. And one parentheses one luminous robe. So I want to see what the tiger mask does. Okay, it does lower strength by a good deal, but good defense. Okay. Okay, and the gold hairpin stays. Uh, can you? No, but you're gonna equip the Hypno Crown for some weird reason. Okay, so the Tiger Mask is kind of a bust, but I'm gonna keep it for defense reasons. Luminous Robe is very go. Okay. Um, and I think there's like, yeah, Diamond Armlet and then Diamond Plate for, uh, actually, no, I'm gonna keep Power Sash. Uh, cause I think both of them, both of you, yeah. So we're gonna do something risky and just play full aggro. Uh, I'm gonna go with that Elven Bow for raw damage, but the Killer Bow is still really good for, like, quick dispatching. And then... Wind Spear is gonna be good later, and Air Knife. Air Knife is technically strong. Okay. Uh, Air Knife is really good because it's wind-based. Fun fact, if you... Ha there's, the main reason I remember coveting Air Knives is not as important now, but... Having an Air Knife on a Summoner is really, really broken casually, and if you get Summoner. <laughs> Uh, for late game. It's just all around. Just, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's 13. I'm not gonna get that. I should. Okay, so that's 13. 21. Okay, so 21. I think we're good, actually. If I just get the diamond stuff. There's no diamond spear, and I'm not getting the diamond armlet because no. It's gonna auto equip, it's gonna put bone mail, it's gonna, it's gonna put a lot of dumb things. Let's go diamond armor, elven mantle, heavy lens for right now. Beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, yeah. You know, I forgot to look up a thing before this. Okay. Actually, I can sell all my golden stuff now, and I don't need to sell much because, like, not having to buy magic is kind of a blessing in disguise for this exact second in time. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's low-key kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. I don't need the blood sword at all, but, oh, no, it sells for 8,000. Interesting. Um, I'll sell as needed. So far, I don't really need to sell a whole lot. I'm gonna sell the golden stuff because no one else can use it, though. Okay. 
should be good enough for right now. Yeah, magic here is really, really strong, but really, really expensive. So that's why I keep thinking I'm, like, underleveled a little bit. Because I think the spells cost, like, what, 6k each or something? Yeah, 6k each, so 18 times 3. Uh, 50, uh, 5600, I think, or 5400. Or 54,000, not 100. 54,000 gil just for the magic alone, on top of equipment. Um, and, you know, weapons and whatnot. Though normally I don't have that, so, you know, it's pretty cool. Also, okay, no, I can't. I thought there was, like, a hidden shop here. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna split the Great Forest of Moor into two, but I don't know yet till I actually go through it. Um, one, the boss is kind of hard, and also a lot of stuff opens up. I don't know. We're just gonna see how it goes. Um, not too worried about it. Okay, there's no hidden shop. The inn, I recall, being pretty drastically expensive. Also, items. I think the items are the same. I think the items are just uniform at this point. There's not much you can really upgrade in the way of items, except be maybe being able to buy X potions later. I don't remember. I don't remember that being a thing, though. And then the inn is like, what, 300? No, 70 gil. Never mind. I was wrong. When Battle of Karnak is still doing. And... Yeah, cool. Thing looked up. Well, kind of. There we go. Let me get my map back. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go in. Um, I'm just gonna see if see how long it takes me to get through the forest but yeah more is kind of notable for being a huge upgrade town both um in terms of magic and in terms of equipment so yeah that's a thing let me get this back up here so i don't really forget so we're gonna do that i've already saved i gotta do a bit of walking to the forest and by that i mean like right here let's save again this dungeon isn't too bad. Um, the enemies aren't that notably difficult. The boss of this area is kind of a nightmare. Can be even casually. So yeah, that tree branch we got from Sage Guido, it opens up a thing. Also, the music is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. But the GBA version kind of leaves out a little bit of a baseline, I think. Uh, just, yeah, you just kind of osmos and are generally really annoying about that. Oh, okay. Animals is really good for taking out those. Good to know. Also, heck to you. And yeah, heck to you. I feel powerful all of a sudden. Not sure why. Ooh, EXP's good. Ooh, Ether drops. Okay, I should have bought gold needles, but I don't think I need them right now. 2,500 gil. We're gonna go this way. I think there's a chest behind this tree somewhere. Uh, I am very well aware that you are weak against fire, so one at a time now. Counter, counter, counter. Just gonna kill the trees one at a time. That didn't kill it. Okay. Good to know. That should definitely kill it. I'm gonna uh, do that again. That's whatever. That's literally nothing. I'm gonna animals. I was hoping for nightingale, but yeah, whatever. If fear is not gonna be a one shot, I may as well do some AOE damage. Then. Okay, those two should be dead. Berserk on you. That's absolutely not good. I need Lena to have a turn right this exact second. That could be good. You need to perish if you're Berserk. Okay, thanks. Just gonna jump again. Yeah, I should take Lance off of the Dragoon, but right now I don't care enough for counter. Could be useful, probably not. I should have animals for Nightingale. Or Bee Swarm, yeah, it's cool too. Ooh, that was actually- Ooh, okay. Wait, Wizard Hat, that wasn't a Sage Surplice that I found there. Yeah, that's one I already had, okay. Uh, you... There 
to speed back up. And we get an ether for our troubles, and now we're gonna go in the street. And by go in the street, I mean down and around the random encounter. Powering up chicken knife, also not dealing with an encounter like two steps away from an exit or entrance. This it Aw, I was gonna like scream this. Into okay, bye! You're not dealing with that. I like MP. Uh up here. I think it's up around this way. Yeah. 4,900 gil, and then... Hey, remember this jerk one? Oh, you heard me. Nightingale, oh, thank goodness. Oh, healing. It does seem to be getting stronger, which is really nice. Spirit blow. Ooh, didn't want that. I should have jumped on the gala jelly. Normally I run from everything here, so I actually don't know what I'm doing. Berserk failed, so that Berserk did not fail. Perfect, though, because you've taken damage. Yay, counter! That's rare. Oh, please, fear the thing in the back. Yes! E. Let's kick. Why not? Get a kick out of this. The thing I expected to die was not that. Also, I should have animals for Nightingale Chance. Oh well. Uh, that's a decent amount of EXP, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do I need to heal? Kind of? Um, up here is going to be a thing. It's going to be a Phoenix Down. Oh right, I should have bought more of those. I should have absolutely bought more of those. It's fine though, because this dungeon is kind of big, but at the same time, it stays not big forever. Uh, I'm not going to explain that right this second. You don't seem to do a whole lot. So let's go ahead and um, do that up, I guess. We get some free healing out of this, potentially. Yeah, for you. Yeah, like, that actually does seem to be getting stronger, so Nightingale might actually be worth, like, later on. I don't know. Jerry's out, but, like, it might stand a reason... That Nightingale is a fairly not reliable isn't the word I'm gonna use because as I get higher level oh, okay good yeah I'm gonna have to ask you to maybe don't yeah I'm gonna have to ask you to maybe don't thank you 420 XP for a relatively low effort so I'm gonna go down and around here ish I do have a map this time um, okay and there's a treasure there is it worth yeah actually I'm gonna turn it down. I'm not gonna say no. Uh, I'm gonna just power up chicken knife a little bit more. I don't have a knight, so I can't use the brave blade anyway. 9500 gil. Another of this. Okay, but it's a preemptive, so you know what? There we go. Heck. Why couldn't I target the mini mage there? That was insane. You know, one shot. Well, not one shot, but like you have to get you there. I'm gonna, I shouldn't jump on that. I should just kick here. Oh right, high evasion. Oh yeah, bye, mini mage. Okay. Counter. Counter. No. All right. I'm gonna animals for Nightingale. Yes. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to be, like, saved by the good grace of Nightingale by the time this whole thing is over? Yep. That's to you, and also to you. Punch! Oh, yeah, that hit! Nice. They have, like, no HP. Oof, that's good EXP. That's, I'm not even going to have to worry about having to grind EXP-wise after this. Uh, yeah, just one here there. Should be fine. Where am I? I think it was, like... Here? No, I already got that right. I'm gonna power up chicken knife some more. I should have known by the way I was facing that I had already gotten the treasure there. I should have been able to predict this. Let me guess an encounter right before I go in the thing? No, okay. Not even two steps in there. Perfect. Okay, so here. Here's where things get interesting this screen. Not yet, but soon. Uh, cottage is nice. Yeah, the, the forest is a relatively chill place. 
Uh, I don't think you can dodge anything, so let's go ahead and just do that. We're uh, going to kick and jump on the imp, I think. Because I can just fear the other nanny. Oh, that didn't take care of that. Okay. Um, gonna wait for attacks. Actually, no, I'm just gonna animals and help with these one. Get flying squirrels. Okay, I guess. Um, I am going to fear that other tree, though. I'm gonna kick again. Also, the M should be close to dead. I wonder if the kick's gonna get a triple kill for once ever. Nope. Not even close. Okay. The mammon hits harder, and it's also more annoying. Animals. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, good damage, though. Um, over here is gonna be something I don't need, but I'm gonna get anyway because this is a Lost Forever area. And then I'm gonna save and be prepared to load a couple of times. Also, no! No! I don't care if that worm doesn't really do a whole lot. It might not, it might be easy, it might give like 7,000 EXP or something. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tent instead. And we're gonna, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna grab some items, and then I'm gonna come back and save again. The reason for this is because there's a very interesting mechanic in this dungeon that's about to come up that uh, is fairly unique. Not a lot of RPGs do this, but the dungeon is about to undergo a metamorphosis, and that's gonna change some of the treasures. I specifically want, um, like, one set of the treasures pre-event, not post. Um, this might be a mistake, but I think that's how I want to do it. Um, we'll find out if this burns me later. Pun potentially intended. You know what? No, I just saved. I don't care. There's a chance I'm gonna be resetting anyway. So like this is gonna be overcautious of me. Powering up chicken knife at this point, also convenience. I fought more in this forest than I ever have in all my other playthroughs combined. That's an elixir. I'm not gonna go back and save yet. I wanna see where the line is. Actually, I think this is it. So if I have to go back for that elixir, fine, whatever. That would have been an easy battle, but powering up chicken knife. Morning star. Okay, cool. I don't need that right this second, and it's also weaker than the air knife, but this is full power from the back row in case I want to go like aggro on something. Um cool. Cool though. Um do I go back and save yeah, I go back and save now. After like fighting a couple things. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. Later. Nope. Nah, good, we good, nope, thanks, no thank you. Uh, I'm gonna decline, very politely decline. Uh, Brave Blade sucks. Now imagine if you're going for the Brave Blade, you fight that out in that scenario. Oh my god, may I please save my video game. Thank you. I'm not gonna tent again, because I think I'm full on MP, that's the only reason I would. And except this, this doesn't count. And that's, well, Ferris took damage also, but that's not important right now. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna continue on as normal. I'm gonna continue on as normal. Preemptive. I think I'm gonna fight this out. I didn't equip the Morning Star because magic is still very effective here. instead of kicking because that is a guaranteed kill at this point I'm gonna aim and aim in Fira doesn't matter in what order that happens it honestly doesn't ooh crit though I'll take a ooh damn I, that is a nice crit that is what we like to call a good crit Bart's has no accuracy it's like he's from a blinded or something M's confused, so honestly I should be taking them out more, but other than that, they're kind of nothing of an enemy. God, how much EXP that I, do I need that I haven't leveled up yet? Actually, like, two or three more battles will do it. I'm not gonna grind it out here. I don't need to. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Let's fight you, see how bad this is. 
Okay, I did just save. Okay, you hit decently. Good, roll to zero. That's what I like to see. But just for the hell of it. I should have gone uh, Killer Bell at this point too, but whatever. Because I don't need the rod in. Thank goodness. Okay, good. That's that's what I wanted to see. That's actually what I wanted to see. That's not what I wanted to see. And the fact that I didn't counter doesn't help. And that's also not what I wanted to see. You're kind of a tanky enemy, ain't you? I should Libra. That can go good. That's that's very good. Not gonna help me in the boss battle. You know what? Yeah, let's Libra. What, what am I fighting right now? What is your weakness? If you're weak against wind, I love everything. Oh, okay, you're basically done. No weakness, though. Oh, good! Ah, I like missing. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue on, though. And from here, things get hectic. A fire happens! And also, my voice is just gone. <clears throat> So I have a choice to make. Yeah, fire. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the force is just on fire. It's a spreading. And I'm going to make this decision because. Can I not get to it right now, actually? Guess not. I thought I could get that early. Um, maybe that. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, well, in that box is a shield. Oh wait, no, I can. Aegis shield. Okay. Actually, I don't need to equip it right now, but yeah. So buying the diamond shield is kind of pointless, even though it has better defense and evasion. It also uh, has a one in three chance of blocking magic entirely. The alternative is a flame shield, which absorbs fire. This is why it's a difficult choice for me. The flame shield is easier to get. The Aegis shield is more rare, but the flame shield could serve me better against x later. Also, Koopa. <clears throat> that said, Galif is going to spend a lot of time in the air. So the flat one in three of locking a magic will do me more good in theory, than absorbing fire. So, I look at it situationally. I also gotta wait for this guy to move. <clears throat> the odds of the flame shield working out more in my favor relies on a, mag a fire magic attack hitting Galif while jump is not happening. As opposed to any magic attack, including things like holy and flare and stuff, which, yeah, it's gonna be a thing. Oh wait, do I get both? No, it's gonna be empty. Yeah, the other one, the Morning Star chest is going to be empty as well, and L is just, uh... Or wait, no, that would have been that. What is... Okay, so K is Ash. Let's go get it, then. Never mind, I'm wrong. The enemies are the same, and so is the backdrop, which, you know, cool. But, uh, yeah. Braveblade is better, by the way. Braveblade isn't bad at all, by the way. But Dove, back attacks are just part of RPGs. Yeah, that's why. Whoops. That's why later Final Fantasies have ways to mitigate them out entirely. Uh, it's Ash, which is completely useless. I don't know of a single like actual use for it. And Flame Tongue, which I can't use because Knight's Only Sword. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to save and in all likelihood that's going to be the video unless editing magic happens and I beat the next boss first try, but looking at the timer, probably not. Hey, can I not get like four encounters before? Like, I, I, I appreciate helping me power up the chicken knife, but I'd like to go save. Thank you, video game. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to save. We're going to heal, then save. This is what I mean by the dungeon not being that bad despite the boss being really bad. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna save, and that's gonna do it for this one. Probably. If I beat the first for boss first try, then we'll do some editing magic, but probably not. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Love your faces, and peace. <laughs>